So I still got some scraps left over. And what I think I'm going to do is make a walnut and maple salt and pepper shaker. And I found four pieces of maple that are the same size. So I'm going to take some of this walnut stock and cut it down to the same length as those maple pieces. And I'm going to use the same style as last time, except I'm going to use the body as walnut with a maple stripe. And that's going to be your pepper. And then the body as maple with a walnut stripe. And that's going to be your salt. So uh, I've got my stop block set up. And I'm just going to mill this down real quick. All right, I've got all my stock milled down. I have no clue how long these are. I really don't care because I'm going to fly through this, make this quick and easy. Um, my body pieces and my veneer pieces. So the walnut sides are going to have a maple veneer for the pepper. It will look like so. Look like so. And then the maple sides, the maple body, will have a walnut veneer, like so. Uh, I'm going to get all this clamped up. It's going to have to sit for a little while, so I'll get this clamped up and I can do something else in the meantime. Alright, so I got my box out of the clamps for the initial glue up. Um, just like last time, you know, glued up a veneer strip in the middle. This time it's a little bit thicker. I've got a half inch strip in the middle. And I think the overall body is uh, it's two and a quarter so it's it's, it's about three eighths of an inch wider than the last batch but I still have to trim it down. Um, trim it down, it's going to be glued up like so. First thing I'm going to do, actually the only thing I'm going to do right now is putting the veneered side up against the fence. I'm just going to run this through and take off just a little bit just so I can get these two faces on the same plane that way I can glue my blocks together and uh, I can size and dimension as, as needed after that. So I took it down a little bit, a little bit further than what I just said I was going to. Uh, first, on the sides that were sticking out like so, I just ran it through to flush those faces up smooth and, and coplanar so they're on the same plane. Uh, that was my only objective, but then then it dawned on me, I still need to remove thickness so that when I put my other half inch when I put my other half inch uh, veneer in here, I guess you could say half inch veneer, I don't know, spacer, uh, that way I get this thickness at the same distance, you know, both sides. So what I did is that, like I said, I removed, uh, got these under the same plane, flipped it around and just skimmed by to clean up the finished edge flipped it back around, and then trimmed it up to my final width so that I can take my piece and add my half inch, and now I'm at the correct width, so that's cool. But in the meantime, uh, in the process I should say, I made some of these, I didn't make them, uh, these, these cutoffs, these little small thin strips. Uh, this is just what fell off when, you're, when I was trimming these up. And, uh, you know, future ideas down the road, can't do it right now because uh, it's too far into this project to switch around, but something that I think looks really neat is instead of maple, walnut, maple, let me see if I can't get this, instead of maple, walnut, maple, you could do that. Maple, walnut, maple, walnut, maple. So just with these thin strips couple different looks. I'm already committed to this, so I'm going to keep going with this, but I really would have much rather had that. So, And to see how it looks on the walnut, let's see. And to see how it looks on the walnut, like so. You know, I, I, like I said, I think that looks a lot better, but I'm already committed to this. So, good ideas, maybe next time. Alright, so, 
Now I've got my half inch strips and time to finish gluing this up. And I have found that if you just take your small pieces and just simply press them into place for a good five or six seconds, then it already starts to hold. Now I don't know if that's just suction because I squeezed so much glue out or if it's actually the, the holding power of the glue. I don't know, but anyway, it'll help you out a little bit because holding these small pieces where they need to be under clamps can get a little tricky. For the tops and bottoms of the salt and pepper shaker, I'm just going to match the bodies. Uh, I've got a thin piece, it's about a quarter inch thin uh, piece of walnut that I'm going to be able to cut a couple pieces out of and I'll just use the walnut as the top and bottom of the walnut body pepper shaker. So that's done for the pepper shaker. For the salt, I don't have any thin strips that look like that or rough dimensions so I'm going to cut this out of some of that headboard material alright I just took them out of the clamps and uh, salt and pepper I'm just going to run them through the table saw to clean them up and dimension them a little bit smaller, uh, mainly because my piece of walnut that I'm going to use for the top, same as the last pop poplar piece that we did, it's not uh, it's not as wide as I need it to be. So no problem with the maple; it's actually a lot bigger than needed. So. Anyway, I'm going to trim these down to about two inches and uh, get them nice and square. After that, I'm going to glue the top and bottom on. Actually, excuse me, before I glue the top and bottom on, I'm going to cut these flat and drill the holes. So, uh, let's get to it.